You're listening to The Peach Pit. I'm here talking with the members of the band Myth of I. Their new single, Oni, is out now. Tyler Jennings, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me, and welcome to The Pit. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate you uh, having us on here, man. We're excited to chat. Yeah, thanks for having us, Derek. My pleasure, you guys. And I, I like to get into the origin story right away. So, so how do you guys remember meeting each other? Was this at Berkeley? It was, yeah. Um, yes, Jennings and I had a mutual friend uh, who like, heard me playing guitar one day uh, and was like, dude, you got to meet this guy, Jennings. And uh, so he introduced me and like, we, we wrote uh, our first song, STNL or Sentinel, uh, in like a day. And Jennings is born. <laughs> uh, and we were just like, yeah, maybe we should just go ahead and like uh, just start a project. Yeah, those jam sessions turned into songwriting sessions real fast. Yeah. So is the guitar uh, both of your first instruments? Uh, uh, I technically started on piano, but I didn't play it out too much. I think I only played for like a year or so, and then I started playing guitar when I was eight. And um, guitar was my first instrument. Um, I play a little bass and keys now, but those came much later. So when you guys first met, what sort of bands were you guys kind of connecting over? Yeah, so like he was saying, it was 2013. Um, so at the time, like Gent was very prominent. Um, everybody was listening to, you know, Periphery, Animals as Leaders, which I'm, I still listen to all the time. But um, I remember in that first uh, like get together we had, hearing Tyler play Make Total Destroy by Periphery and thinking like, okay, Okay, I, I could do something with this guy for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, um, yeah, we even we even had like a, uh, a a a guitar lesson with Mark Holcomb at the Palladium in Worcester, Massachusetts, uh, in twenty fourteen, which was pretty cool. That was that was very memorable. So, when you guys started working together, did you bother doing the whole covers type of thing, or did you just launch right into just writing songs together? Um, it was straight into writing songs for sure. I actually, um, you know, we, we might have learned the odd riff here and there together, but I don't recall us ever doing like a full cover of any songs. It was just straight into writing. We both had um, like skeletons of song ideas together already. Um, so once, you know, we knew we wanted to do this, we busted those out and just started chipping away at them. What was it like going through older ideas and trying to bring it into a new project? Was it kind of, was it really natural? Well, um, some of it worked, some of it didn't, for sure. Yeah, there was a bit of like, a, let's just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks kind of thing going on there at first. I mean, we wrote loads of songs together and really only released what we felt was like the best representation of what we done, what we had done and like the, the stylistic direction we wanted to go in. Um, so we, we kind of tried a few different styles. It was all metal, but we were feeling out, you know, different areas of metal to see where we wanted to go. How did you settle on the name? Oh, well, um, that's a good question. It's yeah, go for it, Tyler. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But, um, so our original drummer, Raul Nair, uh, had introduced myself. I don't know if he introduced James, but to this uh, philosopher, Alan Watts, and showed us this, uh, this lecture he had called The uh, Myth of Myself. And he was, he was essentially like, well, I got an idea for a name. Let's call it Myth of I. And he uh, was like, dang, dude, that's, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. And we talked about it, and we were like, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's go. So if there was two bands that came together and gave birth to Myth of I, if you could narrow it down to two, which would they be? Ooh, uh, well, Animals as Leaders. Which are one. I think I would, I agree with that. And I would probably have to say the contortionist for the second. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. It's an odd coincidence. They keep coming up in all of my recent interviews. They've been getting a lot of praise on the show lately. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Can oh, yeah. you talk? Well, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. What were you going to say? 
Oh, I was just gonna say, I mean, they're they're an incredible band live and you know everything they do is just fantastic. I'm really excited to hear what they're working on for the next record. Has the writing process for you guys changed a lot from how it was in the beginning to how it is now? Yes. <laughs> I would say that. Yeah. Um, well, Jennings lives in LA now. I'm in Boston so currently. Uh, and I've, I've been touring a, a ton this past year or two years. Uh, so getting together to write what we used to when we had first started uh, isn't really as common anymore. But what we do is we'll share ideas like pretty pretty fleshed out parts of demos or full demos and then we'll just kind of share notes on what we think we could do differently we could add change uh, get rid of etc yeah there's definitely uh just kind of to echo what tyler said there's a lot less in-person collaboration but there is still a ton of collaboration happening it's still very much a group effort to bring the tracks to life yeah even well i mean even with blood uh the new EP that we're releasing in September. Uh, even that, like, since our drummer left to do like a full time job that he needed to to dedicate more time to, uh, we Jennings and I got together before he moved out and programmed all the drums together. So it wasn't just like one of us doing. That. We we got together and really got that that stuff out. I was actually interested in that because I saw that you guys had programmed the drums together. So how did you kind of, how, how did you approach it? Did one like do more of the grooves and one do more of the fills? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, Jennings is definitely very good at like the vast majority of it, but I always find it to be a bit busy. So I'm like, all right, let's, let's bring this back a little bit, draw it a little bit more into the pocket. Uh, and then, yeah, I can't write those the same line. That's, that's all it is <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that, that's definitely how it goes. Like, it's something I really enjoy doing. I've been writing drums for demos for a really long time. Um, but I'm not a drummer, so I do have a tendency to go a little overboard there. And, and Tyler is amazing at reining that in and helping create something that sounds like a real performance and like really flows, grooves, just has everything you want from a good drum performance, you know. How did you guys uh, come to a decision on the artwork that you wanted to have? Oh, I'll take that one. Uh, so our artist, his name is Terry Barnett. He's actually like a high school friend of mine. Uh, and one of the very first people that I actually got to jam with, like play guitar and drums. Uh, and he's, I want to say he's six years older than I am. Uh, but he was friends with my brother in high school. So I got to link up with him, and then we were just talking a little bit. I don't remember how it started, but he mentioned that he was doing like lighting design and wanting to do artwork for bands and stuff. And I was like, oh, man, well, would you want to design the Myth of IE piece uh, for STEM? And he was like, yeah, sure. And we, did it. we loved it. He's done our logo, our emblem, um, our full-length album artwork. And he's done, did, did the artwork with one of the streams. So he's, he's a very integrated part of our energy, like what, what we are yeah and uh from what i remember of the actual process you know we went to him with very specific things in mind that we wanted for the self-titled full length that we did um but with this new stuff we definitely kind of let terry just take the reins and go like we gave him little ideas little snippets of things to go off of um but it was definitely just like his creative vision coming to life after hearing some of the music we were working on. Which seems like a really great way to do it. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Yeah, yeah. And Terry's brilliant, man. He's, he's such a fantastic artist and just a genuinely really great person. So it's, it's cool just seeing him take our, our very small ideas and just blow it up into like a really, really beautiful piece of art. And Tyler, you've actually did the production on uh, some of the latest music. Do you think that doing the production is something you're going to continue to do into the future? Yeah, I think so. I, I've really grown to love mixing uh, over the past couple of years. Jennings really taught me how to do it when we were in, um, in Berkeley, and I had a songwriting class. And I was like, dude, I don't know how to use Pro Tools. And he's like, oh, I got you. <laughs> you know, so Jennings, Jennings like really got me into it, and then I just I fell in love with it. And, uh, 
and it's it's more cost effective for us and we get to have better control over what the final product's going to sound like which is something that i think we really realized we wanted after we released the expedition uh, and we we did that one ourselves as well so it's yeah it's it's nice i like it a lot and I agree. Um, I, I love the sounds Tyler got off of both like the, the singles and off the expedition and off of everything we're releasing on blood. So yeah, more than happy to uh, keep it in house for the future. But what about guest musicians? Is that going to be something that we're going to see a lot in the future or probably not? Uh, well, we do have three guest solos on this record um or on the zp uh yasu takanomura who plays guitar in the band the resonance project um as well as a japanese bass band called hide and then we have jake house and low on our track teplin and he plays with plenty and a few other people himself as well obviously and then, uh, we have um pohawk from pohawk and native construct and like sire I would like to definitely have some more guest solos. Uh, I think we might try to have, get one on stream, but not certain yet. So this, you, to you guys, this is still going to remain an instrumental project. Yes. yes. Yeah, absolutely. Where after this the new EP is coming out, uh, where do you see the future of where you guys want to go? What do you want to explore next with this band? I think the main thing is touring. Uh, Jennings and I have wanted to tour in various season for quite a long time, but it just hasn't really, uh, hasn't been super financial vi viable, and we haven't really been able to find any, any tours to get on. So that's that's really the thing. We got, you know, this EP coming out in September, and then we have another EP that's the follow the second part of this project uh, called Stream that will be out in the spring or summer of next year. And then we really just want to tour. Either that or write another yeah, I, I fully agree. I think, you know, taking this stuff live is definitely the next step. Um, and I'd love to even, you know, try to do that before we write the next record, like take it out on the road, see what really sticks with people and then go from there. Um, you know, we've always written from a very almost subconscious place. It's rare that we sit down with a very specific direction in mind for a song. Um, you know, it's more of a stream of consciousness thing. Um, but who knows what we'll do next? You know, we, I, I don't think either of us have thought quite that far ahead, musically speaking. No, I'm definitely flying out to LA. We are, we are going to write that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was going to mention that. I was like, I like, man, yeah, we got to do that. Now, this is kind of my cliche question that I always ask everybody, but I like to still ask it. What advice would you give to an aspiring musician? I would say don't get too hung up on the little decisions. Just make them and try to keep things moving. You know, try, try to keep everything just going forward, new music coming out. Um, don't let something small like hobble your progress or or even something big like you know the pandemic we just experienced yeah that that was very difficult for everyone and like they say the least uh, yeah for an aspiring musician i would say really just find if you're playing guitar or something or piano or whatever find your influences and really learn it transcribe and try to train your ear uh, so you can just develop that skill and then really just write try to submerge yourself into that that uh topic and just learn as much about it as you can so just keep going don't stop don't ever stop that's great advice from people who know everyone uh is there any shout outs that you guys like to make um, yeah, I mean, I would definitely like to shout out, you know, Yas, Jake, and uh, Pohawk for helping us out with the guest solos on this EP. I'm mean, really excited about that. And to Marianne, Cohen, uh, uh, we love you. And uh, it's, it's a really, really incredibly sad and difficult thing to uh, have the passing of a friend and a loved one. 
and the most incredible guitar builder of all time, uh, Dave Cohen, equally great guitars. And we're, 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 we're definitely, definitely missing that day very, very much. Yeah, absolutely. Dave and, and Marianne, 100%. Um, you know, it, it definitely has been a very tough time, but we've seen the community really come together um, to support her and to support everyone who, who Dave's life touched, uh, which has been great to see. And is there anything else that you guys would like to say to our listeners? Well, so we have um, we have Oni that just came out, and then we have Hatchling, our next single coming out on August 18th. That'll be on Spotify, YouTube, all that good jazz. Um, and the new release date, or the official release date for uh, Blood is going to be September 22nd. Uh, we're very excited to have that. You can pre-order that on our merch website, merchbooth.net. Uh, I think it's backslash myth-of-i. And you can go ahead and pre-order the EP. Anything else from you, Jennings? Um, I guess just let us know what you think. You know, we, we'd love to hear the opinions on this new stuff. We're very excited about it, and we hope you all are very excited about it, too. Thank you very much. You've been listening to The Peach Pit. I've been here talking with Tyler and Jennings from the band Myth of I. Their new song, Oni, is out now, so make sure you go check it out. Tyler, Jennings, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me, and take care of yourselves. Thank you very much, Derek. It was really great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Derek.